All right, man. Of course there was one there, huh? It's okay. It happens. It is like a continuation from like the older games or not? Nah? It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get it back in the next round. Damn. You did the right thing though. You took your time and you got back up. Graphics on this game pretty decent for a 360 game, I'm be honest. That's what champions do, Andre. They get back up. Come on. What is that? Ammonia. That shit will wake you right up. What did he hit me with? <laughs> His ass. Hold on. Turn on TTS. Ugh. I got you. No. Fitz, I think Greg will fuck that demonic girl. She had demonic signs on her fingers. You happy? You happy, bro? Are you happy? Genuinely. Like, I, ge like genuinely. I, I gotta know. Are you happy, bro? You got yeah, it, bro. Up. Here's a penitentiary, son. That rip ain't gonna do shit but count somebody out, which means you got to knock that cracker on his ass, yeah? And you got one round. Knock the fucker on his ass. Knock the fucker on his ass. I know white people was not fucking with I know white people was not fucking with that. I need to put health on. Cause Z told me how to show me how to do that. How you put health on? Yeah, I need both. I need both. Ref? What's that about, Ref? He headbutted me, bro. Is this nigga gonna hit his ass? Is he gonna hit his ass like that? You a bum, weak ass nigga. Hear this nigga, bro. All this difficulty hooping is kind of crazy, though. I always knew I was a fighter for real, though. You know? I'm really banging down there. Congratulations on your victory, boy. You look real good out there. We're really fucking impressed. Welcome to the real world, baby! Nighty night, bitch. I don't want to die in prison.
try to talk. Let's take it easy now. You're lucky to let you breathe in. I wasn't always this lucky. This Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years, are you gonna let him make it ten? That's right, that's why we're here, to get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid. Why well, I got a white trainer here, but when I'm in the jail, I got a black trainer. I guess because that nigga ain't in jail. That's a stupid ass question. What a challenge for Andre Bishop as round hey, one is underway. Nobody over the course of the past nine years has been able to conquer Joel Savone. The Cuban has now been a nine-time champion of the world amateur games. You see how this You got to see that coming. Let's go. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Blocks the headshot. Well, it is what it is, what we have in front of us. What is this, one of those where you warn our viewers, don't go get a sandwich? Oh, just don't go to the refrigerator for anything. You're not going to have time to get back. Doubles up the jab. Comes right back with a shot of his own. A solid true uppercut by Andre Bishop. Puncher facing a high stamina guy, a well-conditioned guy. How can the well-conditioned fighter best guard his body so that the power puncher isn't targeting? Oh, Shit, that nigga punches hurt Get though. on his bicycle a little bit. Don't stay right in front. If that power puncher is the power puncher, that's his strength. But his weakness is he probably has to have you right in front. Give him angles. Blocks away that headshot. Wow, a big flush blow. The left hand by Andre Bishop. Boy, right on target with that double jab. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. A solid uppercut by Andre Bishop. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Andre Bishop's coming through now beautifully. That's the I'm boxing his ass. No, I'm box. I'm swinging on his ass. He ain't fighting back no more. He ain't trying to fight back no more. And that's the end of round one. He's not trying to fight with me, man. He's not trying to fight with me, man. He's not trying to fight with me, man. You need to move your head more, okay? Side to side. Lean to the side. Better, much better. You gotta breathe. Just breathe. Relax. How you feeling out there? Now, you're not winning. Am I supposed to be right? skipping this? Like I'm, I'm so confused. I thought that was like story. Cause it looked like cutscene. Here we go. Round two is underway. If things stay this way, Andre Bishop is gonna coast into victory. Now, he get has off a me. considerable lead against Joel Savone. Savone's lacking that jab there. He just hasn't committed to throwing it at all. I mean, that's the most basic thing in the world is to use that jab. That jab does so many things for you. Keeps the guy defensive, and obviously it sets up your offense. Halfway through this round. Hey, if you can throw them all, you now, Get off me, gang. Get off me. Swing. Bitch, A well-placed left hand up top. Damn. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Savone's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Good double jab by Andre Bishop. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Bishop. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. 
Nah, block, 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 block. 20 seconds, boy. He not trying to fight with you, man. He not trying to fight with you. He not trying to fight with you. He ain't trying to fight with you. Move your head. So Bones' knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. He ain't trying to fight with you. He, did it there well. he ain't trying to fight with you. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Nice work. Nice work. Good defensive skill. He ain't trying to fight with me. I don't know why, but he ain't trying to fight. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting on? I don't know what you waiting on. You better help him. And round number three is underway. Punch him in the so deep. early on here, you can already see that Andre Bishop looks like a much fresher fighter after taking a break after the last round. I think Joel Savone may be as shocked as the rest of us. Andre Bishop is scoring often. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Good return fire that time. Right, let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Bishop's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. Good job with the left hand. That's on his chin. It was fast, it was direct by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Savone's, he is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. He got rocked. He just, oh! Oh, me! Oh, me not trying to fight with me. Oh, me not trying to fight with me. He not trying to swing. Joel Savone showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. Bishop's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. That is a sharp uppercut by Andre Bishop. Oh, that's a big shot. With a big shot there. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rob He's not trying to fight with me, man. He literally not trying to fight with me. Hard is difficult. It don't matter. He not trying to fight with me. He not trying to fight with me. He not trying to swing with me, man. Nobody was expecting this out. Put him go go take him to bed, man. He, he night night. He sleeps. Take him to bed, man. He ain't trying to fight no more. Take that man to bed, man. Take that man to bed. Bishop is your gold medalist. Like wait until you have to verse Mike Tyson. It's terrific, honestly. Being voted fighter. Yeah, game, baby. It's an honor. <laughs> Gold medal, baby. Yeah. Uh, this is my baby brother, my big baby brother, Ray. Hey, big baby Bishop. I'm a fighter too, and one day I'm gonna be right where he is now. <laughs> like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's an honor hey, just being. Hey, Bishop brothers are in the house. Big baby Bishop. What? It was I a can't fabulous even see. tournament. Truly exciting to watch. But even more exciting, the Queen Promotions. Is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won Fighter of the Games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter at these games. Period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point. Regardless. Both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. Fitz, will you not throw out? Well, I know who out. Damn, he's swinging, ain't he? said you next. He didn't say I was next. He said ain't nobody he ain't, ain't nobody knock him out. Is they gonna tell me how I got in jail though?
Don't slow down now. Thank you. Thank you. Go to sleep, gang. He said the same thing. Go to sleep, gang. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go. Somebody put this nigga to bed, man. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, bro. You okay? Beautiful kid. You got your father's power. He certainly does. His father hit like a heavyweight too. <laughs> Gus. <laughs> Despite our differences, I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business. I don't care what you say about me, Queen. <laughs> always nice to see you, Megan. Always nice to see you. Is this story like a continuation or something? I I, I think I watched the third you know one. How good she is with I don't think I watched this one. I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best? And let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career. Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way to the title is through me. Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? You don't know who you're fucking with. Dad, you've been Damn. listening to this stupid old man. Dad! You don't know who you're fucking with. I apologize. No, you have no reason to apologize. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you're a good egg. But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. Thanks, Megan. She's right about Palmer. She's a smart girl, that Megan. Hold on, I got you. Tight one more time. Tight one more again. <sighs> Alright, man. I ain't gonna lie. I thought this was gonna be way harder than it's been so far. Maybe I'm just that nigga. Three fights, we knock niggas out already. Let's go ahead and get to the next one. <laughs> Let's get to the next one. I thought this shit was being way harder than it is. Ain't my fault I'm that nigga. Facts. Put the nigga to bed. Somebody go take that nigga to bed. Look you like that a little bit. Every time I knock a nigga out, go take that nigga to bed. I like that. I really want to know how I get put to jail. The pro debut of Andre Bishop is underway. Round one here against Lucius Palmer. With that amateur pedigree of his, Palmer is going to be in store for quite a challenge. Remember, Bishop won the World Amateur Games. He's a gold medalist there. He blocking the uppercut. This bitch had nigga blocking the uppercut. Don't do that. Teddy, what role can the fans play on the fighters, the atmosphere of the arena, when they know there's two guys meeting up that can bang? An immature fighter, a less experienced fighter, can get caught up. He can try to satisfy the audience. That's a quick way to be going to the shower earlier than you wanted to. Oh, oh swing with me. Swing with me, gang. Bishop. Swing with me, gang. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Flush right hand to the head. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Good looking right hand after he got hit. An accurate left by Andre Bishop. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Nice work with the combination by Andre Bishop. Don't run, nigga. Don't run! Don't run, boy! Don't run now! Don't run! Don't run! Hold on! Hold on! Don't run! Swim me! That you have incurred some serious damage. Look at that cut around the eye. So for a fighter to be able to move to the top, he's got to be tested in a lot of areas. Sometimes the test comes. Don't run, boy. Don't run. 
Don't run. Don't run, boy. Don't run. Don't run. Somebody put this nigga to bed, man. Somebody go take this nigga to bed, man. He sleep. Somebody go take this nigga to bed, man. He sleep. He doing all that running. Come on. Don't run up on me now. Well, I look like I just went to go take a, a lap around the, around the uh, ring or something, boy. I don't even look like I'm fighting nobody right now. I look like I just took a lap around the damn gym or something. Shut your bitch ass up. Palmer's got a good relationship with his corner, but now it needs to pay off. He was down in that last round. They need to get to work. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Come on, kids. He just went straight oh, to something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Man, this nigga weaving. Hold on. Yeah, he gonna start doing that now. Wasting everybody's time holding on. Hey, how I get off this nigga? It seems to me that Bishop is right now uncomfortable with the pace that's being set in this fight. I don't like that. Well, he's no, I don't like that. See, that's the like, get the fuck away from me. I don't like that. But he might not oh, bro, I don't like that. No, don't swing. Don't get to swinging now. Don't get to swinging. He you get one hit, hit in, boy. You think you can swing with me. You get one hit in, yeah, you think you can swing with me, boy. Don't swing. Don't get to swinging. This nigga blocking terms and shit. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after Will he taking get one. Gotta love the word by Lucius Palmer. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Palmer's not putting forth much offense at all. Now listen, I get it. You put forth some offense. You got hurt. You were. Oh! 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 He opened. We opened. And this round comes to an end. I don't want to see you get the What's good, D? This fight night game. What did I tell you? Keep your hands up. You're throwing punches with your hands are down. This nigga are came in this bitch strictly to ban. Nah, this nigga funny. position there you can see him backing him up against the ropes what impact from that uppercut by Andre Bishop Bishop scoring with that right hand he got rocked earlier in this fight I don't see him changing much up Teddy would you be advising him that now is time for an adjustment well you have to have a plan B maybe even a plan C when you come into it maybe he doesn't have one now if he doesn't have one you're not going to tell him to start changing up because then you're basically saying I don't know what to do but <laughs> you know we're in trouble what that damn running you doing boy he's tired he's tired we know he's tired He going for my body. I'm looking at my stamina. Palmer's gotta be feeling the impact of that uppercut. And oh, what a good, strong uppercut by Andre Bishop. One, two. 
Get off me, boy. Hey, how you throw a nigga off you when, when they do that? Stay away from those. Come on. Last ten seconds. Scored well with the hook. At this point, Andre Bishop can just put it into cruise control. Yeah, they have that choice. They could go into the prevent defense and coast home, or they know the business, and Gus knows the business. They want to be an attraction. He could say, go out there and finish. Make people talk about you when they're leaving. Well, every the time I stream, it's beef in the chat. Every time. Every time I, be I stream, it's beef in the chat. Hey, you see this nigga? This nigga look like he finna die. Man, shut that shit up, nigga. He gonna need more than your words, man. For Andre Bishop in a fight that's really been a walk through the park with how supremely skilled he is. Shit, hold on, hold on. Every punch he he finna do finna hurt now. I, I just know it is. Blocks that punch. I just know every every punch he do that shit damn it that shit damn it liable to knock me the fuck out. Nigga finna be swinging for the fences now. Parries that punch intended for the head. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, what do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Faint him a little bit. Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. That's a razor-sharp uppercut by Palmer. Last minute of this last round. Takes yourself. Jab and a straight right by Palmer. Little head hunting with the left. And yet the hell, nigga, you ain't gonna block no more? Palmer's you ain't blocking no more now, gang? You wanna swing, now you ain't blocking. Well, you must don't see. You must. I know you can't see out your eyes, but you was you. You ain't trying to block no more now. Go ahead, stay down. Somebody take the. Somebody go find that nigga bed, man. He got put to sleep. Somebody go find that nigga bed, man. Somebody go find that man a bed, man. Amateur gold medalist Andre hey, come on now. taking his first steps as a pro this past weekend on the undercard at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Bishop beating former welterweight contender Lucius Palmer en route to his first pro win. Now we've seen Palmer before here on ESPN. He's a veteran, he's no joke, and Bishop is now considered to be one of the best prospects boxing has seen in decades. By beating a fighter the caliber of Palmer in his pro debut, no less, he definitely made a statement. Andre Bishop clearly a fighter to watch. In other news, heavyweight prospect Isaac Frost scoring the second knockout of his pro career, beating another overmatched opponent on the undercard of the McQueen pay-per-view in Las Vegas. He's now 2-0 with two KOs. All the instructions on the right side of the screen to train on a heavy bat, throw punches, use head movement, and footwork to complete the combinations. I don't believe in building a record fight in nobody. You don't learn anything against guys like that except how to make mistakes. We ain't here to Damn. Do stupid. This ain't the amateur. Damn. You got to oh. to do something great. To be someone great. And I'm going to help you get there. We're going to take some fights against decent guys. And I want you to show me that you got what it takes. Because if you can stop these guys, I'm going to be impressed. If you can't at least put them on the canvas, I'm going to be disappointed. Got it, kid? I want to see these guys on the floor. The fuck? That's it? The time has come. All the talk is done. Now the fight is set to begin.
There's Andre Bishop in the locker room tent. I didn't get to choose my fights. Trainer Gus Carisi. Of course, Gus was one who very early on tapped on. It's been a lot easier than I expected it to be. I ain't gonna lie. But I'm really him, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just him. Sometimes you can't do anything about it. Sometimes you just that nigga. Sometimes I don't know. We welcome you to our middleweight main event. A much anticipated bout between Andre Bishop and Mike Walker. And Andre Bishop right keep all that momentum. Let's have a good, good evening, fight. everybody. I'm Touch Joe Tessa Let's go alongside it's Teddy Atlas. We're here to answer that question Come on, for game. you at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans, Louisiana. Coming off his pro debut win against Lucius Palmer, now Bishop moves forward against Mike Walker. What a Come nice on, gang. combo by Andre Bishop. Be interested to see early on here how much an advantage there is. Oh, you ass. Oh, no, nah, you not. Oh, no, nah, go. Somebody go get this nigga a bed. Somebody go get this man a bed. Somebody go get this man a bed. Because that left going to hit him every time. That left going to get him every time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we back at it then, man. I like you. Oh, you a fighter. Right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Protecting his head well with his guard. The other day when we were hey, boy, you better cover your chin. He said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Watch that punch. Nice two-punch combo by Walker. Oh, shit, okay. You gon' you gon' you gon' protect that chin, boy. I'm gonna make you protect that chin. I'll make you protect that chin. Bishop's landing a combination. Oh, that uppercut got him. I'll make you protect that chin. I ain't gonna lie to you, gang. I'm gonna make you protect that chin. You playing with the wrong one. I'll make you protect that chin. You blocking everything but your chin, boy. I'll put it right there on there every time. Don't get back up. Go to bed, man. Don't don't get back up. Go yeah, just go to bed, man. Like stop. Stop. Just go to bed, man. That nigga look like he dead. Fuck sleep. <laughs> yeah, just go to bed, gang. It ain't even worth it. This fight ain't worth your life, you know what I'm saying? Like, just go ahead. Lock back in. Just, you can get him next time. Just not this time. I was on my way. And baby brother was making his mark as an amateur. Gus had been our father's trainer. He took us in after our parents. Bro, baby died. brother. Work in. Keep that chance. Keep that work going. Is they dad like the older uh fight nights or nah? Dang, so they just got fight after fight after fight. Okay. Okay. And he has hours tonight. I'm Joe Tessator alongside oh, in the goat area. We welcome you to this night of boxing here at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans. Bishop looks to start his pro career 3 0. Who on fighting? Takes on Wilfred Rosario. Bishop. Who on fighting? Man, get this nigga off my screen. Oh, six rounds. Okay, not. Here we go. Round number one, scheduled for six. This could come down to the disposition of each fighter. Rosario's chances could depend on how he does playing that role of ultimate underdog and how his opponent does of playing the role of heavy favor. Yeah, well, what he hopes right now is that his opponent takes him for granted, overlooks him a little bit. But as the underdog, that's the benefit. You're not overlooking anybody. See, he giving me the hook. Yeah, see, he give it. See, this nigga giving me the hook. So we gonna hook your dumb ass. You want to block the uppercut, so I'm going to give you the hook. You want to block the uppercut, so I'm going to give you the hook. You want to block the uppercut, so I'm going to give you the hook. Why y'all niggas just don't go to bed, man? We're going to find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Rosario's cheek is cut. You can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. Halfway through round number one. What a forceful hook by Andre Bishop. 
Well, let's talk about what kind of a fight this could end up being because as far as we see it, both guys are really committed to the cause here. They want each other. Hey, look, the old times would say these guys are harder to miss than they are to hit. Good flush shot upstairs. Bishop's not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. We expect a high work rate among these two fighters. Now, do you want to see that same work rate throughout the whole fight? Do you, or is that your expectation? I'd love to because we'd be having a good time and our fans, they're going to enjoy it. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Good flush. Just in a big... There it is! God damn! Great goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? Hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I kept winning fights. I got people's attention. My father told me to find out what it'll take to make you change your mind about working with us. So it's easy. Yeah? Yeah. All you gotta do is change Gus's mind. What's that all? You don't have a say in this? Sure I do. I say you got some my manager. Then I guess I'm gonna have to change Gus's mind. Good luck with that. Thanks. Oh, by the way, I was by Keyshawn Hayes' camp the other day. His trainer thinks you're a sucker for the left hook. Keyshawn says he's dropping you with it. Yeah? Well, Keyshawn Hayes is entitled to his own opinion, isn't he? Man, if this is another nigga I'm gonna put, I'm gonna just put to sleep first round. I ain't gonna lie, game. Let me know. Because we on the hardest difficulty. Y'all niggas ain't even making out the first round. They putting four rounds. I got them all out the way. We started, we had one with six rounds. I didn't even get to even experience more than one round. Like, what did y'all up the rounds for? We can need to, y'all gotta get out the first round before y'all start upping the rounds. So, I'm just trying to understand. Oh, we, this gotta be a better fight. Because look, we in a whole different area. There's gotta be a better fight. Ain't no way this as bad as the last two. We'll be taking on the hard hitting Keyshawn Hayes. I expect this to be way tougher than it's been. I'm going to be honest. His adversary, by way of Newark, Keyshawn Hayes. This guy's got a mean left hook. He's going to try and catch you with a. He got a mean left hook. Okay. Yeah, I heard about that. I got left hook too, nigga. Nice block by Andre Bishop. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Andre Bishop so dangerous with that accuracy. That nigga just eating them bitches. Combination landing. Damn! Oh, whoa! Whoa! Hey, hey, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, they said he got a mean left hook. But ain't that no, just that mean? God. <laughs> Nate Robinson. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Look at how bro punch me. Oh my god. Hold on, how you, um. Nah, I need to see this. He said, stop all that damn punching. Ooh, he, I'm gonna be dead. He is swinging for the fences trying to get his man after being hurt himself. Oh, and there you go. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? <sighs> nah, he hooping. 
So Bishop gets up and beats the count, but now comes the critical time. Like I have full health. Now he has to do two things. One, he has to survive, kill a little bit of time, and understand why he got put down in the first place so he don't make the oh same mistake. Oh, my God. Bishop's nailed by a hook. Oh, my God. That nigga oh hook no joke. Tell me. Teddy, most of the fighters that you train throughout your career are guys that could be described as this, guys that really will bring it and are able to do it throughout the whole fight and go the distance. What's the mental makeup of a guy like that? Confidence. He's been there before. He's sure that he can do it. So accurate. Jab, uppercut combination. Work the box. Andre Bishop has always had a knack for that. I love the way Andre will look for that uppercut and then deliver it. Hey, what? Good right hand by Andre Bishop. He needs more of that. See, he's got his guard up really well that time. Now get off me, get off me, get off me. Hey, how do you do off me? He's doing a really good job of being defensively sound, of being patient, and waiting for that golden opportunity for some offense to come in the mix. Well, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting for a mistake to be made. You know, he wants to lead out of his opponent right now so he can make a miss and bang, come right back with that hook. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I won the round, but he gonna win that round because he knocked me with one punch. Besides that punch, I ain't gonna lie. I definitely won that round. But he definitely gonna win that round because he knocked me down. I ain't gonna lie. We gonna call this nigga one punch, man, because this nigga just... That was a crazy punch. Now we're about to find out if he can behave like a fighter. Throws out the jab, and it brings back the uppercut up top. Well, he ties up there. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Andre Bishop's work in training hey, what's up with this? is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Eyes up on the inside. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you can go after, but you better be careful because he'll strike out when you don't expect it. Hayes is still shaking after feeling that uppercut. Andre Bishop's left. Working well that time. Now hugging on the inside. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Got my stamina. Bishop's able to land a nice clean left hand. We overheard the corner of Andre Bishop earlier saying to look for the uppercut. That time, uppercut. he found it, he saw it, he gave it. The quick hook. Bishop showing you that sublime skill. Oh, a Here we go. shot comes home for him. Oh, this is Greg. What the fuck are you doing, he nigga? Able to the round, but he this nigga just doing now. shit. One, two, three, four, five. Hayes is back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. Good block by Andre Bishop that time. Like yeah, I won that round. That's no question. And this round Greg comes don't know to an don't worry, nah, I just That's no question. Focus. Keep your hands up and keep working that jab, That's no okay? question. I definitely Pull won that round. And keep supposed to be you know we always talk about the fighter having to be calm and the experience that a fighter has well that corner has plenty of experience they just showed it but well, there's a spot 
that his opponent doesn't want to be in. You see him backing him up against the ropes. Blocks the headshot. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform. The perfect hold. Let's hold, boy. I, I need my help, though. in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him. He can counter him. Nice combination. Jab. If it's of you ever had a girlfriend who had a twin and got confused and fucked her down. Bro, don't ask me no crazy shit like that no more. Scores with the combo to the head. Oh, a damaging left hook by Keyshawn Hayes gets to Andre Bishop. It's a big ring game. Body shot, the left hand. Bishop's combination punching is working well here. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. And now he's targeting upstairs. Hayes is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. I like the angle that Andre Bishop just gave us right there. His opponent didn't like the result. He just made an uppercut. And that's the end of round Beating three. his ass. He ain't talk too crazy because he put me on my ass too. But I definitely won that round. He got some good stuns though. He ain't got nothing else but a knockdown. Hey, my coach know what he's talking about. Here we go with the fourth round. Bishop's gonna try to keep things going in this direction. Could this oh, be the shit. start of a big comeback? He went from owning this fight to now nearly down and out. You know, that's what makes boxing so great. Yeah, you can come back just like that. One punch at the right time. This that nigga is one right punch time. man for real. You know Andre Bishop's trainer is going to be really thrilled to see him do that there. He doesn't want to see his fighter get hit too much tonight. That was a nice block. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Bishop's ability to just get to his opponent before his opponent gets to him. Showcase there, his hand speed is very good. Yeah, it is, Joe. You know, it speaks to one of those old sayings that the trainers used to say, just get off first. That's what he's doing right now. He's getting off first. Good job with the old one-two by Andre Bishop. Very solid, perfectly executed combination. Hayes is down. He's going to have to beat the count. Just go to sleep, gang. Stop fighting it. Stop fighting it. Go to sleep. He getting back up. Hard to prepare for a situation like this. But many do. He's been down. Now he's got to survive. So that's really wrong. It's not hard to prepare. It's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy. If you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on. You move your head. You survive. And what a... Did you see that? Unbelievable. Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But it's designed Just go to sleep, hard. gang. Please. Just as strong as Please just go to before. sleep, gang. It's not worth it. Your life ain't worth ain't worth this one fight. Just go to sleep, man. Somebody get this nigga a bed, man. Somebody get that nigga a bed, man. He he he's, 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 he's tired. He a little he a little sleepy. He a little drowsy. Somebody get that nigga a bed, man. Just go to sleep, man. Just go to sleep. It's not worth it. Your life ain't worth this one fight. Brian Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight Studios. We have an update on the career of rising star Andre Bishop. And while he certainly hasn't taken an easy road so far in his career, Bishop is poised to have his coming out party against top 15 middleweight contender Ricardo Alvarez, something virtually unheard of for a prospect with so few pro fights. What's more, the fight will take place in Alvarez's hometown of Chicago, although we can't expect a few fans to make the trip from Philly.
What can I do for you, Mr. McQueen? Andre, I have to tell you something about your father. Before he died, he and I agreed to a deal. I was going to get him a title shot and let Gus stay on as his manager. Sadly, he never got a chance to tell Gus about it. I'll give you the same deal. Keep Gus as your trainer and manager. I'll promote your fighters. Megan's young. She's got other fighters. And think about your brother. What about my brother? Raymond's got talent. Not your kind of talent, but... <laughs> He's big. You see how big he is? He could be heavyweight champ someday. Isaac Frost looks unbeatable now. But who knows? Be smart, Andre. Fitz, Let how much the pick you Raymond sent Greg? Tom. Look, Mr. McQueen, I don't appreciate you talking about my father or trying to get me to go behind Gus's back. Stay away from my brother. Stay away from me. Are we clear? You have no idea who you're fucking with, kid. Oh, good luck with Alvarez. I got a feeling it's not gonna be your night. Hell, he, what do you, what do you mean by that? You could have boomed bro right there, a player of bitch. Nah, nigga, you can go to jail if you're a boxer just fighting niggas for no reason, bro. Like, you can go to jail for, like, life or some shit. I'm pretty sure, like, if you are, um, professional, like, MMA or boxer, like, your hands get registered or some shit like that. Now the spotlight falls on the unbeaten right, hot rising let's have prospect a good clean fight. Andre Bishop. Touch him up and let's as go. he takes his first major step up in facing middleweight contender oh, Ricardo no. Alvarez. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Jab, uppercut, Ooh, both upstairs. Geez. Mike Tyson did that and he got a slap on the wrist of Muhammad and Pacquiao. How Nigga, that's Mike Tyson. I'm not Mike Tyson yet, am I? I'm just now fighting a ranked fighter. Because a lot of people would Don't think, and I think fun. wrongly, that the speed guy, the boxer, the jab would be only important to him to stay on the outside, use defense a little bit with that jab separation. But of course, the power puncher, he, fight. he wants to use that jab to close the gap. Blocks away that headshot. DeAndre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Andre Bishop. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Now he's putting his punches together. The combination upstairs. Very accurate with the That's overhand it. right. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Andre Bishop. On the mark with the straight left hand. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Andre Bishop. Lands the counter. Nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. Hey, this nigga fighting. You see my health bar? That shit moving. And this... Kid, the judges ain't even watching this fight. I can see it in their eyes. McQueen fucked us. We're not winning any decisions tonight. Means you gotta knock this guy on the canvas. Understand? Knock him on his ass. Only choice. Here we go. Round two is underway. Boxing definitely a rigged sport. I don't care what nobody says. You got to fuck him in the ass, Fitz, you got to.
just gonna wear out trying to knock this nigga out. A sound combination by Andre Bishop. Bishop's giving us a taste of some of that athletic ability, that hand speed right there. Good combination. And his opponent, though, now is going to have to show us that he could do something to sort of, you know, adjust to this, to Canada's. And that's going to be controlling range and timing because he can't match up with the physical hand speed. Good shot there with that left. Lands the left after setting it up with a jab. He fighting me, I ain't gonna lie. That's an impactful right hand by Andre Bishop. But why is my health so ass? Bishop's left, landing well. Scored well up top. Plus shot, the left hand came in. Oh, this nigga fucked my head up. Bishop's doing well here with that two punch combination. He fucked my health up. Bishop went out there in that last round and just executed his game plan beautifully. He won it with ease. Yeah, he not only has skills, see, that's what I like about him. We have a lot of guys that have speed, they have power. But he fundamentally puts it together. Punches and bunches, combination up top. Now he is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. He was stunned. Now he's in control. Momentum so critical. And that's the thing about this boxing game. One second you're in control, the next second you're not. took a huge punch and now he has to grab he has to get in close and make sure that he kills some time with a straight left. Andre Bishop's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Comes with the right. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make this him nigga miss, punches hurt. Make him pay. Let me see the stats. Never mind. I wanted to see the stats, All but never mind. Are on him to start this round. Bishop's legs look just a little shaky, but keep in mind, he barely survived that last round. No, but keep one other thing in mind. I agree with you, Joe, but he's been here before. He's very experienced. If anyone knows how to get out of this, he does. It's doing great. A snapping combination by Andre Bishop. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Bishop's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Goes up top with a right hand. Get out of the way, uh, two cents. Way to hit the target there. Jab uppercut. I'm fucking cheating all the time, man. I'm locked in so hard right now, man. I ain't gonna lie. This nigga fighting. I ain't gonna lie. 
Bishop's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Blocks that punch. Solid left hand. Oh, very nice. Smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Fun fact, he's using steroids. That makes sense, bro. Wait till you get to the bit that body shot spans. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Halfway through the fight. I don't want you to slug it out with this guy, alright? Keep your range. Yab, yab, right. I think he's a steroid. So we've reached the halfway point of this main event. I think it's about finish with the hook, but the hook is the hardest shit to get in. Hey, hey, let's go! Uh -huh. whoop, whoop. Showing you some defense there with the block. You can block, man. Bishop wants to do right there. Land the right hand. You know, there's a lot. Big Damn. Big shot comes crashing home. Why is punch is so strong? He has some questions to answer after I feel like every punch, this nigga take my, my health away and stamina. Andre Bishop rises to his feet. But of course, Gustav experienced enough to know now when he gets back to the corner, he has a job to do. Not just dump cold water on him to revive him, but to tell him what he got hit with. Remove that fear a little bit from his mind that it will happen again. He can correct the mistake. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was, but I'll take it. I don't know what that was, but I'll take it. I brought my own know. judges. You got to ready to make a move. My future looked bright. Is it possible I can lose these fights or nah? Cause I put it on the hardest difficulty, but I'm still boxing. Nice place. The gym's closed, fellas. We didn't come here to work out. What's going on? We came to have a little talk. Having a little talk with a boxer is crazy. Having a little talk with a boxer is crazy. Having a little talk with a boxer is crazy. When you lose it says quit or try again. Thugs. Oh, okay. Dirty so cops. I can't lose. Don't fucking move, when you get it. later on, there are objectives and the move. people also have cheesy ass tendencies. Good evening, everyone. Mm. And welcome to Friday Night Fights here on ESPN. Before we get into tonight's action, see how long I've been playing. News this week involving middleweight prospect and amateur gold medalist. I've been playing for an hour. I'm, I'm going to do one more. Reports are coming in that Bishop has been arrested for allegedly carrying an unlicensed firearm and assaulting two police officers. Details remain spotty, but assaulting the word is there was an altercation. Assaulting two police officers is evening, crazy. Bishop and the police at Parisi's boxing club, the gym where Bishop trained. The word of two decorated police officers was all it took. My dreams, my freedom, everything was taken from me. 
Wow, that's how I got put in jail. They fucked up my hand. I'm gonna get out of jail. My little no brother finna be a hooper. I had to help myself. I couldn't let this place beat me. Man, is this nigga giving me a tattoo with a damn shank? I fought. Yeah, this one I'ma stop. I'ma actually Those stop right here. Been talking so much about kicking your ass, they think they can take you one on one. I had to agree to some conditions though. Bare knuckles, no refs, no rounds. You fight until somebody quits or can't get up. I'll do this fight. I like those conditions. And let's go get it on. I'll do this fight. What if they get this tape? Remember now, the professional boxing shit ain't gonna help you here. You got to knock this motherfucker out. We have Andre Bishop. I think a damn the best boxer I fought. I already know down is like low blow. I know down is like low blow. Tariq's no refuge in here. No, that's actually crazy. Why did he want to fight a professional boxer, though? Like, actually, why did he want to fight a professional boxer? Like, is he crazy? Somebody go get this nigga a damn a metal bed or some shit, nigga. Cause that nigga sleep. This nigga dead ass. Jump me in the damn bathroom. If you get up again, you a real nigga, gang. I want to keep beating your ass, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. And he was fucking me up a little bit too. Look at my eye. He's putting in work. I ain't gonna lie. My brother just now coming to visit me? What's this I hear about you signing with the Elma Queen? No hater. Yo, Ms. McQueen told me Pop was gonna do the same thing. And you believe that? I believe this. <laughs> Yo, Mr. McQueen has done a lot for me. And Dre, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna let him keep doing what he's doing. Really? You'd be smart to stay away from McQueen, man. I always wanted you. I ain't you, Dre. I'm me. I'm a heavyweight, Mr. McQueen. Mr. McQueen believes I can be the champ. The champ. I'm going for it, brother. I gotta do what's best for me. This nigga got put in jail and he signed to the nigga that got him put in jail that set him up. Nah, that's sick. I didn't have no choice, Dre. 
Just can't give me a shot at the title. Mr. McQueen can. Dad realized that you're late and I can't make that same mistake. I gotta do what's best for me and not what's best for Gus. Drake. Come on, man, you understand. It's like that. It's like that, Drake. It's like that. Should be worse than that. I should have beat your little ass. Or big ass. Gus retired from boxing. Isaac Frost became heavyweight champion. Baby brother was fulfilling his dream. And here, it's the same old business. Should have used Time the to block to another head. I got another fight in jail? Damn. Is this the same nigga? Bro, gotta be cheating or something this time. Oh, shit. Nigga hit me one time. What the fuck? Nigga hit your ass like he got brass knuckles. Yo, stupid ass on the ground. Get your big ass up, nigga. Now I know is you cheating. Get your big ass up. Hey, this nigga got balls of steel or some shit. Hit this nigga in the balls. He ain't eating. That's definitely the last fight though for today. Let it be, let it be. Hey motherfucker. This shit isn't finished. What the hell are you talking about? I'm ready to fight right now. Get your boy ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just had a fight, he ain't had time to rest. I don't fucking care, Ace. He's gonna fight me right now, or there's gonna be serious problems. Okay? Fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna fight this nigga so fucking dirty. That shit sound like he stabbed me just there. Is there anyone else? Troy Cena and nigga. Yeah, that's my last one though for sure. I'm gonna let the cutscenes play out. Full sentence. I lost my youth. I lost my career. I lost my dream. Now what? McQueen a lame ass bitch ass nigga.
Baby brother got me a job as an assistant trainer. Listen for the bell, man. Relax. Potter boy. Very lucky for an ex-con to have a job. That's what I like to see. A brother taking care of his brother. Andre, welcome back. Hey, Mr. McQueen. Raymond? Andre, you remember Mr. Franco. Andre. Mr. Franco has retired from the force. Works for me now. Must be a big change for you. Hope you learned to stay out of trouble. Now he's learned his lesson. Andre. <sighs> I'm sorry the way things worked out for you. But I've been taking good care of Raymond while you were away. We can't afford distractions. I hope we can count on you to help your brother. Man, that's crazy. It was good just to be back in the gym. It was good to see baby brother doing his thing. This shit like a movie, I ain't gonna lie. And it was good to be back in the gym. That shit kind of moving, I ain't gonna lie. Put your weight in your lead foot. Uh, me. Turn your hips more. It'll increase your power. There you go. Thanks for the advice. This gym's got a reputation. I can't have people looking in here seeing you slap boxing. <laughs> Jokes, huh? Nice. I was starting to think you didn't like me. Yeah, well, being on the outside takes some getting used to. I guess I'm still adjusting. I like you just fine, Megan. Always have. That nigga should have just used unspoken reds that weak ass shit he just said. I never liked Mason Brooks. What the fuck was that, Brooks? I'm supposed to be sparring. Oh, fuck you, has been. This shit wasn't low. Fuck you know about it anyway. You ain't even a fighter no more. Why don't you go clean some toilets or something? Whatever. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Go clean them toilets. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I cannot stand for this. Nah, I will not get treated like this. Nah, I will not get treated like this. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I, I ain't gonna lie. I cannot stand. Stand for this. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I cannot stand for this. You gotta yeah, fight him. In there for you too. Yo, Brooks, chill out. Oh, what? You wanna do something about it? Get out of the ring, Raymond. Dre, what, what you need? Raymond, get out of the ring. Now I gotta beat this nigga ass. I got to. I bet it's so many cocky ass boxes. I'm swinging for this nigga to swing left, this nigga swinged right. 
I heard you beat up one of my heavyweights. Look, I'm sorry. All right, we, we were we were sparring. I didn't want to. Mason Brooks is an asshole. He needed that beat down. I like him better already. In that case, I'm happy to help Mason become a better person. Mason's a ranked heavyweight. You whipped a ranked heavyweight. You're still in great shape, Andre. Put me back to lightweight, though. I ain't trying to be heavyweight. A sparring partner. Are you serious? Antoine Barr's camp starts in two weeks. All right, that's it, though. I just couldn't. I just couldn't get off this shit getting bitch like that. All right, all right, y'all trying to, y'all trying to, y'all trying y'all hardest. All right, game, like, hey, 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 game, hey, game. Where, where's the save at, my nigga? Where's the save? Why, why do y'all niggas keep playing with me? Fight! I'm trying to stop. I'm done. This shit says knock this nigga. Hey, how you? He got unlimited stamina if he's going after the body. Why this nigga's punches look so weak going for the body? Nah, I see the objective. I definitely see the objective. Let me see this text. I'm trying to I'm trying to get this nigga to stop blocking his stomach though. Why well, I was punching this nigga so much on the damn stomach.
Control right there. That's gotta be some of the hardest shit to do. Shit talking about I gotta do this shit twice too like that shit tough I'm wearing this nigga down, but I ain't. I can't knock him out with his stomach. Combos at this nigga shit for no reason right now. Thank you. Oh my God. This nigga is getting up. Nigga, I lose one more time. I'm definitely finna go to what's it called?
Why is this nigga swinging so hard this time? Get this shit off my screen. Man, this hard difficulty shit is so stupid. Cause this nigga should have been gone. There's no way he hit him. Ha, bro, I'm swinging. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Now nah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. No. 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 No, I'm done. Now I'm swinging at this nigga's stomach. This nigga bends all the way over and this nigga hits him in the head and knocks him out. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, bro. Yeah, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. I'll do this another day. That was a good hour and 30 minutes. Hopefully y'all get enough out of that. It's gonna be a whole another part two, part three. How many other parts I gotta do? But yeah, that's gonna be it. I appreciate it. Without further ado, boy Fitz, I'm out of here, man. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah!